Hey everyone, this is Andrew from Eclipse Growing. Uh, so thank you for joining me. So I did have some technical difficulties with a few of my videos. Uh, so I went ahead and uh, we're, we're filming a different uh, set. Now unfortunately this is kind of my update and what we began. Uh, so in this particular case, um, we went ahead and used the Jiffy um, growing medium, seed starter. Uh, so in this particular case, this is what it looks like. Um, after it's all swollen up. Now these seeds right here, this one's actually some red onion. Uh, now these have not germinated as of yet, um, but that is 100% a-okay. Now with the red onion, um, basically here's the seeds that we actually use. Um, so red onion right here. Blah, blah. These are coated seeds. Coated seeds actually help with several things. They protect the seed a little bit better. Um, increases the oxygen availability in the soil. I don't even know what that means exactly, but uh, t turns uh, turns out that my my main reason for using any kind of coated seeds is actually better grip. So you see a lot of seeds, really really tiny. Um, these particular ones, uh, since they are coated in here. Uh, these seeds are generally a lot smaller than what you see, um, but you can control how many you go ahead and throw into your medium. Um, so the red onion uh, is going to be, all these crops that I'm doing are going to be inside crops. I have a large basin uh, that I've actually filled with soil. Um, I have several different plants in there right now, uh, but I'm hoping to keep a few of these and transplant them later uh, to grow uh, inside, indoor onions. Now these ones are going to be sweet. They're the uh, red grano variety so we'll see what happens with that um i can tell you that days of germination is between 10 and 20 days uh luckily it's let's see um on the 22nd is actually when i planted these uh today is actually the 27th so it's been about five days so they should start sprouting here soon now one important thing that normally people do especially when starting seeds is they usually have a heating pad um, something like that. The really great thing about these is, uh, and I don't know if you can see it very well, uh, but here is the lid of one. And you can see how it's all kind of steamed. You know, it, it does keep in the heat. It does allow the moisture to stay in a lot longer. So these seed starters generally help all by themselves and nothing really extra i didn't use any of the super thrive i didn't use any additional vitamins or minerals i just used this, the the growing medium and the seeds that's it no additional heat the ambient temperature normally in my home is about 68 to 70 degrees at any given time uh, so i figured the soil should be roughly in that range uh, which is perfect for plants not too hot not too cold um, so even though some plants may need a little bit more, may need a little bit less, um, seems to be the right range for these these guys. Um, so I showed you the red onion. They haven't germinated as of yet. Uh, they still have another uh, five days or so before uh, before they hit the lower end of their limit. Now I do have some green onion. Now the green onion you see is normally something along the lines of chives. And I'll go ahead and show you the type that I have right here. This is what we actually planted. Now the variety is called Warrior. Um, they're also called Bunching Onions. Um, generally they just won't have a normal bulb. It'll be green onions, chives, whatever you want to call them. That's pretty much what you have. Uh, now germination uh, generally happens between 10 and 12 days. Um, in this particular case, um, I have this puppy right here. <sighs> And we actually do have some germination happening. So here's our seed stuff. This is the green onion. If you actually take a look right up here, okay, you actually start seeing some of the sprout right there. So it is germinating, and it's only been about five days since I've planted them, roughly. Four, about four or five days. Um, yeah. So that is already doing good. Now, I left the best for last. Now, the most beautiful of all of the, the garden vegetables, now whether you like the taste of them or not, uh, root vegetables generally take off pretty easy to grow. Um, it, unless you have something very, very wrong with your lighting, something very wrong with your water or anything like that, generally root vegetables 
are a little on the harder side to mess up. Now you can, and it still happens, a lot of people do it, a lot of people get you know, discouraged because they can't grow something that's normally pretty easy. Um, now there's, there's a whole variety of reasons why uh, things would go very wrong. I've actually grown uh, radishes before, uh, several times in fact, and I love radishes due to the fact that they grow really fast. So uh, the variety of, of uh, radishes that I actually have here today is called the Cherry Bell. And uh, these cherry bell, it actually should only take about 22 days until I can harvest and eat the radish. Um, and if you think about that, three weeks is not that much. Um, but uh, to give you kind of a rough idea, um, it generally takes, let's see, according, according to this, um, it generally takes four to six days to germinate. Now these, these little guys, these actually germinated uh, within 24 hours. Uh, now they haven't done anything super crazy yet, but these are the radishes that we have right now. Now we haven't gotten our full, you know, uh, primary leaves or, or, or rather secondary leaves, um, true leaves, and we haven't gotten those out yet, um, but we have gotten a beautiful amount of germination on them. Um, so, that being said, in 22 days I should be able to harvest uh, the radishes and they're fairly easy to grow. Um, so it really depends on what issues you tend to have. With root vegetables, it's kind of an obvious thing. Um, maybe not to some, but with a root, root's going to grow deep into the ground. Think carrots, think rutabagas, just anything that's going to go into the ground. If it hits a rock, if it hits a stick, that root wants to keep going down, so it's going to curve. Okay, so especially those who are trying to make really straight carrots or anything like that. If you have very uh, uh, rocky soil, if you have a lot of lumps and really hard spots in your soil, there is always a chance that you're going to have some variations in the root just in that alone. Um, with the radishes that I was telling you before, uh, so this is the third or fourth time that I've actually grown radishes. Um, these actually, so every single time my radishes have germinated really, really quick, within just a couple days, regardless of the medium, if I plant them straight in the soil or not. Um, however, I planted them once, uh, at least once outside. Um, I planted them once in a pot, and now I have these seed starters. So I've grown them kind of a little bit everywhere. Now the ones outside did really, really well as far as their growth pattern. They grew really, really big. Um, however, what, what I ended up doing, and not on purpose, was I got a little greedy, didn't realize what I was doing, and I decided to let them group and bunch up the way I planted them, very similar to how you have like this. Now, in this particular case, um, that's too many. Um, you generally want to thin things out after they've gained their secondary leaves or their true leaves. Um, once they, and in some plants, you actually want to wait until they're, um, two to four inches tall, so on and so forth. A uh, bunch of different guys, depending on type of seed. Um, now, in this particular case, uh, what we wanna do is, once we get our true leaves in here, we're gonna go ahead and start thinning them out and then transplanting them. Um, in that particular case, the first time that I grew them outside, I did not thin them out. Uh, which caused a very, very, very beautiful top growth. I had big, large, huge plants, and I was just, I was ecstatic. I thought I was going to have these massive radishes. Turns out that wasn't the case. I had no radish. Uh, basically, I had roots. I had top. That was it. So, um, I made that mistake. Um, another time, um, yeah, I've grown them inside. Um, didn't have a lot of success with that, and that was because I was actually experimenting with grow lights trying to figure out the best ones uh turned out i actually got a very uh i mean as far as price goes it wasn't cheap um but it was cheaply made as far as the quality uh turns out those lights have to actually be fairly close to the plant um and i'll show you those lights probably at some other time um but they did not receive enough light and by the time i realized that, that they had not received enough light um it had uh, already gotten to a point where their primary, uh, uh, their, their true leaves should have sprouted. And then uh, a lot of them end up dying back because of the fact that it was already too late. The, the, the seedlings had not sent the signal saying, grow these second set of leaves, let's start photosynthesis, let's start going. 
and uh, kind of miss that window. Um, so it is very easy to become discouraged. It's very easy to mess these up. Um, any plant. So if you're fairly careful, um, radishes, especially uh, this this variety, uh, 22 days. If you can be patient, do everything according to the way that uh, is prescribed. Not overwater, not underwater. Just enough sunlight. Uh, get those get those true leaves going. Uh, once you get those, uh, your your struggle is pretty much over. I mean, <laughs> once all that stuff propagates, you have a couple weeks left. And as long as you keep those little little, little babies, you know, growing, should be a problem. Um, but anyways, that's the update. So we have the green onion, we have the red onion, and we have our radishes. So when I go ahead and get those true leaves going, uh, and when I get the other plants uh, germinating at a, at a better rate, uh, I'll go ahead and update with these with these three, and I'll keep these in a single video so we can see how they're growing. Um, and then... Uh, so I'll keep with the germination along with the transplanting and the thinning of. Uh, if you guys want to go ahead and follow the adventure, uh, please hit the subscribe button below. And until then, I'll see you next time.